Hey guys, and welcome back to my world. So over here, I have a 42 uh, random number generator. Now at the moment, I'm only generating numbers, so I'm just doing a say command with uh, a relative number. And um, but it can be anything. It can be spawning different kinds of mobs. It can be uh, you know summoning pigs and summoning random structures, whatever. It can be anything that you need to be random. You can then have um, random. So as you can see, it is pretty random. If you have a look at uh, on this on the screen on the left hand side now uh, this uses the spread players command to actually spread a entity over a five block radius from a center point okay what I'm doing is um, as you can see over here I've got a silverfish so I summon a silverfish two blocks above then immediately after I've summoned the silverfish I then spread player said silverfish <laughs> onto in a five block radius from the center Okay, and then immediately after that, I actually kill the silverfish. Now, um, Lagusta did a video on this as well, where I kind of, you know, saw the whole, whole idea and decided to improve it a bit. Um, and his video is in the description. Now, what he did was he actually used a cow, and the cow was uh, then kind of teleported there, and then it, the next command block teleported the cow back. So it was a, it, it, I added an extra one onto it. Um, now, the reason I couldn't actually use a static mob or a mob that I teleport backwards or forwards is because because quite often um, I do a kill all entities command when doing uh, adventure maps and mini games and such so uh, I can't actually have a mob that uh, is alive all the time so I pretty much have to summon the mob um, have it do a random thing and then kill the mob so that's kind of wow I got that set up and the reason I got a silverfish is a silverfish doesn't actually drop any loot when it dies I don't want to turn on uh, turn off mob drops or anything like that but because as I said uh, this can be used in multiplayer servers it can be used on mini games and so forth where you don't necessarily want that turned off um, and just so you know how I'm timing this this is also the a, a slowed down hopper clock so you'll see I actually have four outputs and I can randomly actually or not randomly but I can actually set the outputs to go off at different timings so it doesn't have to be you know a second apart this one can go off and then this one can go uh, off after 10 ticks and this one can go off after 40 ticks and then this one can go off after 1000 ticks etc etc so you can actually randomize and or not randomize you can actually set this up to be you know uh, timed different timed events happening at different times so I'm actually seeing a lot of use for this uh, I've actually already started using it let me quickly show you actually you started using this on um, Bacon Wars. So uh, I'm going to have to change Bacon Wars a little bit, but here you can see I've got the setup. Uh, this is actually a 60 second clock, which you can then set up to be uh, in multiples of six. So it, you know you can do two minutes, six minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. I actually got to set up to uh, do five, 10. Where did I set it up? What did I set it up? So I got it set up to do. Uh, to do a five minute game, a 10 minute game, and a 15 minute game. So uh, I'm still working on that, but this that little, this is how this little clock clock will work. Very, very, very cool. Okay, guys, um, thank you very much for watching. And as always, I will check you all later.